Let's take a look at simplifying rational expressions. Um, to simplify rational expressions, the first thing you want to do is factor everything you can. So in this first one, um, we take a look at the numerator. Let's take a look at this up here, and you can see that um, the first thing you do for any factoring problem is to look for a GCF. So we're going to do that. So our GCF is going to be x. So let's take an x out. And what's going to be left in there after we take an x out is going to be x minus 2. And now in the denominator, um, when I look at the denominator, I have a three-term polynomial, so I am going to factor using short key. So we're going to use short key. And our number is going to be 8, and we want factors that total negative 6. What are the factors of 8 that total negative 6? Well, this is why we worked so hard on factoring over the last couple weeks. Those factors are going to be negative 4 and negative 4 and negative 2. So this denominator is going to factor into x minus 4 and x minus 2. And now let's take a look over here. You see we have a factor of x minus 2 up here, and we have a factor of x minus 2 down here. So what we can do is we can now cancel out those factors of x minus 2, and what we're going to be left with on top is an x, and what we're going to have on the bottom is x minus 4. Now, um, I just want to stress, you can't cancel these because, again, I can only cancel x minus 4 if there's another x minus 4 out there. These are two different factors, um, if you want to put little parentheses around them so you know. But, like, these factors don't match up, so this is as far as we can go. Our final answer is going to be x over x minus 4. Let's take a look at another one of these. Um, so in this one, we are going to, again, factor the numerator. So let's take a look at the numerator. Um, on the top, we have a squared minus 9. We know that's a difference of squares, right? a squared minus 9 factors into a plus 3 and a minus 3. In the denominator, what do we have? This is a trinomial. So again, um, we're going to do short key. Our key number is going to be 6. And we want factors that total positive 5. The factors of 6 that are going to total positive 5 are going to be 2 and 3. Those multiply up to 6 and add to 5, so we know that this down here is going to factor into a plus 2 and a plus 3. Now, take a look up here. Anything match? You can see that right here we have an a plus 3, and down here we have an a plus 3, so we can go ahead and cancel those out to simplify this. And our final answer is going to be a minus 3 over a plus 2.